Most scientists believe that four billion years ago, the entire universe was inside a bubble that was thousands of times smaller than a pinhead. It was hotter than denser than anything we can imagine. Then it suddenly exploded, and the universe we know was born. Time, space, and matter all began as the Big Bang. Somewhere inside the universe is the solar system, with the sun and eight planets which orbit around it. Mercury, Venus, Earth, with her best friend Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune all love their little brother Pluto, who orbits his longest way. Planets dance around the sun. Everyone knows their exact routes without collapsing to each other. One day, the sun didn't feel well and lost his special power, the gravitation. As it happens, an astronaut, Tim Peake, is flying in his very special spaceship around the sun. Good morning. Good morning. Actually, I don't know what it means. I'm the sun. I don't have a night and morning. Where are all your planets? I don't know. They just flew away. That is nonsense. They can't just fly away. You have your strength of gravity to pull your planets around you. I have lost my gravitation, and I don't know what to do. I think I'm broken forever. I will never see my planets again. Let me see. I'm very good at fixing things. Thank you. It seems that I'm all right now. I'm going to test your gravitation. Let me orbit around you. It's time to find all my planets. Can I join you? Yes, it would be great. I don't like to travel alone. How old are you? Excuse me, I am not older than you. I'm just four point five o three billion years old, same like you. So why do you have so much wrinkles? My rock crust becomes wrinkly when my iron core cools and contracts. Here you are. I was worried about you. We missed you. Why had you flown away from our orbits? The sun was broken and it's lost the gravitation. Have you seen the others? Earth is over there with her, her friend Moon just there. Do you remember how I was one day similar to Earth? Really? What caused the change? Well, global warming. I had warmed and the water evaporated. We should move on. Hello, what are you doing? We are playing hide and seek. Of course, your favorite game. Sometimes you like to cover me and to scare people with clips. We have to find Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune now. Oh yes, Mars. It is the closest planet to our Earth. We still don't have a proof of little green men. But NASA announced last year the discovery of recent flowing liquid water on Mars. We hope that there is life on the, the red planet. I don't understand why you people are spending so much time to find a similar planet to live on, and at the same time you are destroying your own. You should concentrate on saving Earth. Good to see you. I started to be bored alone here. Who is missing? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and our little friend Pluto. Oh no! What happened? They're near a black hole. We need to hurry. Its gravitation is stronger than mine.
Be careful, don't go near that strange hole. It sounds like a massive hoover. I just want to collect more of this fantastic dust. It is perfect for polishing my ring. OK, it's sparkling now. I can see the sun in a reflection of my ring. I told you it is going to suck us. What did you say? I can't hear you! You know, the Neptune is a very windy place. The winds near the Great Dark Spot have reached nearly 1,200 miles per hour. He is practically deaf. Quickly hold his hand. They are lost. I think I can solve this problem. Do you remember how I fixed your gravitation? I can try to rebuild my super gravity tool. What if it doesn't work? The black hole will suck in him too. Tim, don't go too close. I'm scared. It will be all right. Now we lost Tim too. Hooray, it works. I am glad you solved that. We are complete now. Well, it's nice to meet you all. I am going back home. I will talk to people. We should save our own planet first and then concentrate on others' discoveries.